Hey guys, it's Heidi from YA Bibliophile, and I'm here with this week's In My Mailbox. Um, today is Easter, so happy Easter to those of you who celebrate, as I do, um, and to the rest of you, just happy day. Um, I have some books I want to show you. Um, I bought a few more books that I'm going to take with me to a signing at Anderson's Bookstore and then to the Romantic Times Conference that I'm going to. Um, I actually leave Tuesday night for that, and I'm super excited. Um, there's a lot of really great bloggers and authors who are going to be there. Um, and then I got a few books to review, and I borrowed one as well. So, oh, first get started with some that I bought. This one I actually bought, um, sorry, I'm taking the price sticker off. <laughs> I bought a couple weeks ago, and I just keep forgetting to put it, uh, to show it. And it's the audiobook of The Nightmare Garden, which is the sequel to um, The Iron Thorn, right? Iron Thorn, is that what it's called? Yeah, The Iron Thorn um, by Caitlin Kitteridge. And I loved the first one, The Iron Thorn. And I actually have a copy of the book, but I listened to The Iron Thorn on audio and I really just loved it so much. And I was at the, the new and used bookstore that I go to and they had the audio of Nightmare Garden, so I thought I would do it that way. It's got a great narrator, great book, steampunky, um, with some <clears throat> um, magical elements and whatnot in there. The main character is named Aifa Grayson and I really liked Aifa as a character and she's just a really great, interesting, um, just kind of an intriguing person. So I can't wait to to listen to that, so I have that. Also, I'm going to assign it, they're calling it four debut authors um, at Anderson's, but Cynthia Hands on it, and her second book, sequel to Unearthly Hallowed, came out, so she's not necessarily a debut author, but whatever. Um, but Under the Never Sky is one that I purchased for that signing. Um, also, Shatter Me and Eve are the other books um, that are featured there, but I, I read this one, I haven't written a review yet, but I had an arc of it, and I read it, and I really, really loved it, so um, I'm excited to get this copy signed, and it's a very pretty um, finished copy, part of it is kind of glossy, and then you have some matte stuff going on there, but Under the Never Sky by Veronica Rossi, Rossi, I'm not sure how to say it. Um, I also bought a finished copy of Texas Gothic, I had an advanced copy of this one as well by Rosemary Clement Moore, um, she also wrote The Splendor Falls. Love, love, love The Splendor Fall, so I don't know why it took me so long to read this one, but I absolutely adore this. So it's te Texas Gothic, so it, you have like Texas ranchers and like the cowboys and all that, but then you also have kitchen witchery, which I thought was really like an intriguing combination, and I loved it so much, you guys. It was really, really good. So Texas Gothic, you'll have to uh, read that one. She's going to be at the Romantic Times Conference. And then Melissa Marr, Fairy Tales and, Night um, and Nightmares. It's a collection of her short stories, some of which go with her Wicked Lovely series and some of which are not connected. Um, and I actually had an advanced copy of this that I got at BEA, um, but I want to get a finished copy signed because I just love, love, love her books. So, Fairy Tales and Nightmares by Melissa Marr. Those are the things that I bought. Um, I did borrow one book this week, and oh my gosh, you guys, I'm almost done with it. I probably have like 100 pages left. Um, Insurgent by Veronica Roth, and it is so, 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 so good. Like, so good. Um, actually, I'm using my um, insurgent set of tattoos as a bookmark, um, and the person who I'm sending this on to gets these because I have a couple of them, so hopefully Sasha will want them. But anyway, um, yeah, Insurgent by Veronica Roth. I am just loving it, and I'm so close to being done with it, but I had to take a break. Um, so anyway, Insurgent, love it. So thank you so much to my friend for loaning that to me. Um, Scholastic sent me a finished copy of The List by Siobhan Vivian. Um, and I'm super excited to read this one. I, I got an ARC in there in a preview box of theirs, but now I have a very nice, pretty finished copy. Um, and it's about um, a high school and every, every year a list is published by the students and it's got um, the prettiest and the ugliest, I think is what it is. Um, two girls are picked from each grade. One is named the prettiest, one the ugliest. Um, and obviously like this is not like a school sanctioned list that they're making. Um, but this is kind of the story, like the effects that it has. Um, and I'm super excited to read that because I've loved some for other ones. And the last book I got um, is for a blog tour. It's The Summer of No Regrets by Catherine Grace Bond. It's coming up from Source Books Fire. Um, and so I'm really looking forward to reading this one. I'm actually probably going to send it on without reading it because I, I, I got an e-galley as well after I didn't know I would be getting one when I said that I needed the book. Um, so I, will ha I want to send this on so it gets to the next person right away. But I plan on reading this one... Um, well, I plan on starting it. Well, I'm at Romantic Times. I don't know how much time I'm going to have to read because there's a lot going on and I'm staying with a group of awesome girls and I'm sure we're not just going to be sitting around. Um, we're going to be very active and very busy. But anyway, that was my week. Um, I hope you had a good week as well and that if you're celebrating today that you have a wonderful day and some good time with family. Um, if not, um, I'm not going to be around a lot this week because I will be gone, but I plan to um, have some posts scheduled and whatnot. So hopefully, um, hopefully I'll still hear from you. See ya. I never know how to end these. Like I always feel dumb no matter what I say. <sighs> well, whatever. <laughs>